Hey, it's Richard Christie. I'm here at the Star Trek convention in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. We're going to talk to some people today, interview some fans, some people that are dressed up, and we might even talk to the legendary Mr. Sulu, George Takei. So let's go check it out. Engage. <laughs> So what, uh, what are you supposed to be? I'm Vina. I have to go to Talos 4 because the illusion is the only way I can live. I can't live like this. What are you talking about? Oh, you must not be a trekker. <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. Can you explain? On my planet, we are able to give them the illusion that they look normal and beautiful. So even though he is crippled and burned and in a wheelchair and unable to move, in his mind, she's beautiful, and to her, he's handsome. So they don't know that they are deformed, but they cannot leave our planet, otherwise they will remain looking like this, with no illusion. What number episode is this from? This was from the very first episode. It was the two-part series called The Menagerie. Can I ask him uh, what his favorite kind of food is? Yes or no answers. <laughs> uh, are you comfortable? What's that mean? No. Huh? That means no. Would you do me? Is that yes? Yes. Thanks. Well, what, what are, what are, what's this character called that you're dressed up as? Called Ferengi. Ferengi. From the planet of Runnymede. Runnymede, New Jersey. We're transplants. <laughs> within the but it's the, it's the planet Ferengi, and we're Ferengi. Our species is superior to humans. Do you think George Lewis, George Lucas, in the end ruined the Star Trek movies? Uh, that's great. That's good stuff. From our planet? Oh, yeah. We have little mice that go around and cause the electricity. Very good stuff. Okay? We have to feed them every day, though. No problem. I don't know what you're talking about, but do you guys ever get it on with your costumes on? <laughs> it's too hot. It is too hot. There's no holes. <laughs> <laughs> Check. We have the logo. You no. should probably move that way a little. Okay, move this way. Oh, wait, go up a little bit. Go back. Wait, I'm sorry. We just want to get the logo. Go back. That way. Go th yeah, I am. <laughs> All right, it didn't work with you. <laughs> What are you here for, Kevin? Meet George Decay. What do you like about George? Uh, he's a blast to watch on the show. On Star Trek? On the Howard Stern show. So you're more of a Howard fan or a Star Trek fan? More of a Howard fan. What's better, Star Trek or Star Wars? Uh, Star Trek. i never seen Star Wars. you never seen it? Never. Now why is Star Trek so, so much better? I, I, I don't know. I like the, uh, they come up with good stories. <laughs> Next question. Um, you guys are a fucking trip. You guys are a fucking trip. <laughs> so have you ever had sex in a Star Wars costume? No, no. Man, I always laughed at you guys goofing on fucking idiots, and now here I am, I'm the idiot getting goofed on. <laughs> well, look at how I'm dressed. <laughs> what is it that you love about Star Trek? Well, I, I, I love the adventures, the uh, storylines that they have, and um, I, I've been watching it for, I guess since 87 so uh, tw tw 21 years <laughs> do you sometimes wish you could be a machine uh, no but sometimes I do wish that that people would get along just like they do on Star Trek and what's the most you ever spent on a piece of Star Trek memorabilia uh, the most I probably spent was about 30 bucks. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's the most I've spent. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, I, I mean, I, I'm just going to see, see what they have and see, see what I uh, can buy <laughs> and can afford, too. Yeah. I <laughs> um I um I I I, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. This guy over here looks good. Come on. How you doing, How buddy? You doing, sure. Why wow, you're looking good, you're looking great. Wow. What's your name? Charlie V. And what are you doing here? I'm doing here to get pictures with uh, different stars. I came to see you too, to get pictures with you. Now why do you like getting pictures with stars so much? Because I get along with stars more than I do with neighbors. Look in the camera and say, Howard, you sure do love sultry sex. Howard, you sure do love sultry sex. Sultry sex. Say it again. Howard, you surely likes uh, selfie, selfie sex. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know if we got that. Say it one more time. Howard, you sure likes selfie, selfie, selfie sex. <laughs> Could you say shrimp sauce saucers? Shrimp sauce sausage. Again? Shrimp sauce sausage. Shrimp sauce sausage. <laughs> You're not Jackie the Truck Man, are you? No. Jackie the Truck Man? No, I'm not Jack. So, who all of you met from the Stern Show? Jackie the Truck Man, Stuttering John, and uh, only about four people. Uh, the girl he's talking about. Robin Gibbons. Robin Gibbons, yeah. Robin Gibbons, Stuttering John, Jackie the Truck Man, and uh, the other guy, Stuttering John. What about Baba, Baba Bowie? Yeah. What is it? Baba Bowie. Baba Bowie. Huh? Baba Bowie. You met who? Baba Bowie. Oh, you met Baba Bowie? Baba Bowie, yeah. Or Baba Bowie? Yeah. Not Bowie. What? Who? Not the singer Bowie. Oh, but Baba. Baba, Baba. What's your name? Paul. Paul Cretney. I've been going to conventions in Philly since I was in my teens. I'm in Valley Forge. In Valley Forge Hotel the convention center there, and also um, in, in 34th Street in San Francisco City. I've been going, I've been going pretty much all my life. What's so great about Star Trek? Uh, the, the stuff they have out now, the, the, the tricorders, and all that other stuff, the gear, uh, all the inventions they, they make it up now, you know, on TV, Next Generation, like, like Beam Me Up, Scotty, and stuff like that, the, the transporter, all that stuff is really cool. And do you ever fantasize that you're a Star Trek character? Um, Data. <laughs> Data is my favorite. John Luke Picard, another good character. He's cool. He, he says that I'm one engage. <laughs> you like that phrase? He says engage. That's a good phrase. What is it? He says engage. As he says, he says engage. Which one? He says engage. What phrase? Engage. It's called engage. Uh, engage. Spell that. Engage. Like, Spell. Uh, he says he goes like this. Engage. You know, like warp one or warp seven. But when what does he, he say though? He says engage. Like like engage. And he says start up. Like start up the the ship. It means engage. And he moves his finger? Yeah, Captain Picard moves his finger, he says, engage. <laughs> and you like that? Do it again for, to make sure we got it on camera? He says, engage. <laughs> Do it to the camera? Engage. <laughs> I don't know if your record light's on. Do that again. Engage. Yeah, I need one. Try again. Engage. One more time. Engage. But don't, like, 
treat this serious because you know we're at a serious Star Trek convention. Yeah. Like when he says it, he doesn't laugh. So no. you know, do it, it like serious. Okay, engage. Engage. But don't smile though. He doesn't smile when he does it, okay. does he? But he does a little bit. He does engage. So he does. But you know, let's let's get into the character. <laughs> Okay. Let's get into the character and look real serious. You're the character and you're looking in the camera. Okay, the character, okay. He says, engage, number one. But we need a little bit more power. Like, you're an authority. Okay, engage. But not a smile and you're serious. If okay. you want them to engage, you have to tell them and you have to be real serious okay. and no smiling. Okay, and engage. See, I'm still not buying it. I want you to like really get into the character. Okay, and engage, number one. Let's try it again. Engage, number one. Without the number one, though. Oh, engage. Ooh, better. One more time. That was good. It's getting there. Okay, engage. That was good. I think that's we got a good one. <laughs> Who could win in a fight, Chewbacca or, or Captain Kirk? <laughs> Chewbacca. <laughs> Bigger. What about Luke Skywalker and Dr. Spock? Dr. Spock. <laughs> Dr. Spock could win. Why? Vulcan. Vulcan. Give it in the, in the neck pinch. Knock him out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and goodbye. <laughs> he says goodbye. He says see you bye. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good time today. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good day. All right, you too. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Okay, you too. Thank you. Good show. Take care. Thanks. Thanks. All right, so we got some good interviews, talked to some Star Trek fans. We're hopefully going to run into George Takei, and uh, we're going to interview some more fans, so let's go. Why are you an attractive woman at a Star Trek convention? Well, I think growing up I had the same misconception about Star Trek that everyone else had. That was a really nerdy thing, but actually it was my boyfriend who introduced it to me, and uh, there's a whole other aspect to it that's really amazing storylines and... Uh, something for everybody. Who's the most attractive guy on Star Trek? Oh, Captain Kirk. Yeah. You find him sexy? Yeah, he was pretty sexy back in the day. I don't know anymore. Then, yeah. Now, how did you react when you heard that Sulu, George Takei, had came out of the closet? I wasn't uh, overly surprised. Do you think now in these turbulent times if the government was more modeled after Star Trek then we'd be a more peaceful country? Yes. We shouldn't judge people by stereotypes. We should judge them by who they are rather than what they represent. And basically we should try to get along with all cultures so they don't put the, the bullseye on us and say we have to attack them because this president that doesn't know what he's talking about now we have to hate everybody. All right, I'm here with George Takei and Brad. How you guys doing? I'm exhausted. One session like that really takes a lot out of me. My voice is gone. What kind of session are you talking about? Oh, I just had uh, <laughs> my uh, my embrace with the fans. Yeah, you were up on stage. You did awesome, George. <laughs> thank you, thank you. How about you, Brad? How you doing? I'm practically speechless right now because to be standing in the same room with the great Richard Christie of the Howard Stern Show of Sirius Satellite Radio is mind-boggling and flabbergasting to me. I'm so, so surprised that you came all the way down to South Jersey to be with George and me. Oh, well, thank you, guys. Thanks he, for inviting he really, us. Well, he really wanted to be with you. <laughs> George is right. <laughs> I would think Sal is the one that would really want to be with me, but whatever. Yeah, I know you want to uh, uh, see hell to get uh, a piece Ow. of your mind. I mean, sell to get a piece of your mind. I'm so dizzy after uh, <laughs> that session. You don't have to tell the whole world you're dizzy. <laughs> yeah, George just bit 
did 45 minutes on stage doing Q&A with thousands of Star Trek fans, so he hasn't had a second to get a second wind, Richard, so that's why he's a little dizzy right now. <laughs> We're sorry, George. We won't keep you very long here. Oh, no. I don't mind being with you a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so what's you guys' plans for the rest of the day today? Well, I, I'm going into an autograph session, writing my name over and over and over again. In fact, we have to go. There's tons of fans waiting for George T.K.'s autograph right now, and I have to monitor to make sure he doesn't write any mash notes to them and stuff like that. Oh, I don't do that. No, not a Star Trek invention. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Well, anyway, we gotta go. <laughs> All right, well, I guess that means we're done. Yeah. We're done. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Bye-bye. A group hug. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Paul, well, what's your favorite band? Air Supply. So you told me earlier your favorite band is Air Supply. Why is Air Supply your favorite band? Because they sing all love songs in the core, the core group. Yeah, the, the 80s. You like love songs? Yeah, of course. My favorite is All Out of Love, Making Love Out of Nothing at All. A lot of the big hits. What, could you sing one of the, could you sing All Out of Love? I'm not familiar with it. No, I can't. I don't sing that in person. I just sing it who. Do you know the, what are the lyrics? Uh, they, they sing it on a commercial. You know, I'm all out of love. I'm, you know, I'm lost without you. Stuff like that. Making love at us at all. I, 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 I memorize it. I need to see the words at him. I read the words at him. Right? <coughs> and they have sweet dreams. Right? And they have some new ones. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> you know, hold up. Go ahead. I'm going to do you now. <coughs> Wait. We're live. Hold on. <laughs> but anyways, We're live. But anyways, Air Supply is a, is a big group of the 80s. Back in the 80s, they were a big group. And they were in the 90s. In the 90s. They were big in the 90s, too, in the 90s. They're coming, they're going to be in New, in New York on December 8th at BB King's. They're doing, they're doing, a, they're doing two shows one night. Oh, they're doing two shows one night, and they're doing another show the next night. I think I'm feeling better now. Thanks for coming for me, bro. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> you did great. Uh, thank you for that. Thank you. Take care, guys. Thanks for covering for me, bro. Thank you. Okay? Have a great day. You Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 we were just having fun. We were just like, the guys are cool, like you guys. <laughs> so we had a lot of fun today here at the Star Trek convention. We interviewed a lot of Star Trek fans, talked to George Takei and his life partner Brad. So it's been a fun day, but that's it for now. We'll see you all next time. Bye for now.